Hey everyone, it's Joe from Painting with Joe, which is an online course coming up this October every Tuesday night from seven to nine. It's a it's a it's an, an enrolled program, so and it, there is a cost associated with that. And I'm going to go through the whole thing and kind of give you an idea. What it is is a beginning art class, and so we start out very slowly. We don't go too crazy because we don't want to get anybody all excited and think they can't do it. Because I believe everybody can do it, and it just you just have to take the right steps. And so we start out basically, and we progress. And we learn a lot of different things along the way. So what I'm going to jump right into it, what we're going to be doing in the class, we're going to be painting initially these little boards. So this is a universal primed linen painting panel. I happen to like linen because it's very nice to paint on, uh, particularly on these hard boards like you see right here. And so linen is wonderful. Um, and we're going to be painting little scenes on this. Little scenes will be like the one I painted in my test paint the other day. Uh, it could look like, let's see here. I suppose I should have had that ready, but it can look like this. So there's an example. See, that's on a, this is on a different board that wasn't linen, but this one here was gessoed and sanded. It's a lot of stuff going on. But you can paint this. There's no reason why you can't do this. It's five by seven and you can put it in a little frame and off you go. You hang it on the wall and you're proud of it. So a lot of people say, well, I can't, uh, I can't even paint a stick figure. And um, this canoe is kind of a stick figure scene. I think you could paint that. It's not as hard as it looks. Uh, we try to make it easy and fun. Otherwise, what's the point? This is a very fast painting. I did it in under an hour. And uh, I was just slapping paint down. If I wanted to refine it a little bit more, I'd spend a little bit more time on it. So, but it'll give you kind of an idea uh, as to what we'd be doing size-wise. We're going to be painting, like I said. Okay, and there's, there's that same board again, only this one's unpainted. And uh, we're going to do that. We're also going to do a couple of these. This is an acrylic disc. And so when I peel off the back of the acrylic disc, you end up with acrylic that you can't see in my hands. Is it there or not? So let's put it down here. Nope, still can't see it. Hard to see. Well, let's do this. We'll grab this over here and kind of give you an idea what it would look like. That's an acrylic disc. And if you look at the back, it's smooth acrylic. This is the same disc. See, they're the same size. In fact, I can put this one over that one, match up the hole. And, well, that's kind of neat, actually. You could actually do stuff like that. And then we put glitter on the back and whatever you want to do on your own time. But we, I'm going to, in the, in the kit, we're going to include a couple of these acrylic discs. And Susan, I forgot to get you two discs, but I'll just mail them to you. Anyway. Um, this is for Christmas, or you can paint a mobile picture. You can hang these anywhere. You don't have to just put them on a Christmas tree. You can paint a summer scene and hang it on a window if you want. Uh, you can decorate it up nicely, and we'll go through all of that stuff down the road in the class. And so the focus of the class is to get you the basics of painting so that you know where to start, because the hardest thing is starting. And to make it really easy for you to start, I... I picked out a brush set. This brush set that I've got here has an angle brush about the right size. This is what we use a lot. I'm going to hold it down here so you probably can see that angle. There's an angle. Then there's this one, which is a liner brush. That's a really cool brush. That's for making long, straight lines, crooked lines, whatever. It allows you to do a lot of detail work. So that end is... And these, are, these have all got uh, sizing on them. Sizing is some sort of cellulose that washes off with water. Um, this brush here is a number two round, or maybe a number three round. We use that an awful lot. This is a straight brush. Notice they're not flexible right now. they got to be soaked in water, and then they'll flex. Um, and then this is a big one for doing fast backgrounds. If we're going to do a background all in blue or red or whatever, use that bigger flat brush. This is a smaller flat brush. So it's a nice combination kit. The, the, one of the things that I find the most daunting about starting painting is you're going, how the heck do I start? You walk into an art store and you go, oh my goodness, there's so much stuff to look at. So I've narrowed it down. I've narrowed down the things that we're going to paint to the acrylic disc that you can't see. So I'll use the painted one, the acrylic disc, and also the canvas board, and then also the paint. 
I like Amsterdam paint. It's a good beginning to intermediate to even advanced paint. A lot of people use this stuff. It's There's nothing wrong with it. It's really a good paint. It's made in the Netherlands. Uh, it's not made in China. If I can avoid China at any possible minute, I will. Although I do give China a pass on brushes because they do make good brushes. They've been doing it for, I don't know, 10,000 years. So a lot of, lot of ex expertise in making brushes. Colored paints, so I try to get from European and US sources. And, and if I can get brushes that way, I will too, but they will cost a lot more in some cases. Um, and I don't know if you gain a terrible amount unless you're willing to spend a lot of money. But meanwhile, we've got these little itty bitty tubes and these are the basic colors. This is ultramarine blue, a lemon yellow, a red, a green, a black, and a white. The only thing that's not in here that I wish was in here was a brown. So you may have to go out and get a brown, but during the course of this program, I'm gonna teach you how to make a brown out of these colors. We've got our primary colors, black and white, and the green is cheating because yellow and blue make green but it's nice to have a green because sometimes you just need a green. It's sometimes just easier to grab the color you need. So we're gonna learn a lot about color blending in here and working on projects. Sometimes we won't finish a complete board in a two hour section. We might only get this much done, but then you've got all the rest of the week to finish that much once you've got these basics down. And then you bring it back to class the next week and I look at it online and say, Bubba, you gotta go sit in the truck. Put down your brushes and leave the building. No, I won't do that. I haven't done that yet to anybody because everybody has done very well. I've, I've not run into anybody who can't do this. They don't exist. So anyway, I've got paint, brushes, painting surfaces. That's going to be three of these, two of these. And that's it for the things that I'd be supplying. It's going to be everything you need to get started. Okay? So the one thing you could use... This is a special paper, you can buy that. And I taped it to the board. And I figured out what a five by seven or six by eight, I don't know what size this is, but I think we are at, we're at five by seven. So five by seven, and you can paint on this. This is made for oil and acrylic paint. Oh, incidentally, this is all acrylic paint. We're not gonna be doing watercolors. It's water cleanup, it's easy to use. If you forget to clean your brush, you can soak it in alcohol and poof, you got a new brush again. It works, it cleans it right up. So. You can do this at a later time during the programming. The class is going to go for two months. It's, uh, I think we're looking at uh, October 5th, the first Tuesday, four Tuesdays for October. It's gonna go to 10 total Tuesdays. The cost for this program is $100 for the classes, that's the teaching part, and $42 for the paint, the, um, acrylics, all of this stuff that you see here. Now that sounds like a lot, but I'm including shipping in that price. If you're able to pick up, if you live in the nearby area and you can pick up, we're gonna, I think we're taking like $10 off of that. Everything's so darn expensive anymore. And if I can get it cheap, ship it out cheaper, I will, but I'm just trying to get you a ballpark price. So figure about 142 bucks. You get two acrylics, three boards, not this board. This board here is one that I did. You can get this on your own and I can help you with that. And you can email me uh, ask, asking questions anytime you want and I can help you. And we're going to be meeting in Google Meet. Um, Google Meet, this looks pretty easy. It's like all the other meet places. And, um, and when I say meet, I mean M-E-E-T, not M-E-A-T, because Google, to my knowledge, has not begun producing meat yet. You know, like sausages, blood sausage, Polish sausage, potato sausage. They don't do any of that. So, but give them time. You know, I'm sure that, you know, they're trying to rule the world. That'll be perfect for them. You know, hey, let's control the world's Polish sausage supply. But anyway, this is gonna be painting with Joe. And so we're starting October 5th. I'm gonna see, you're gonna see a couple more of these uh, coming up at you here. I'm gonna be launching them so you can find out about the program. And you'll see me doing some live painting and things like that. But for now, I just wanted to get this out there so you can start thinking about it. I'm gonna put some forms in the various social media places out there that will allow you to sign up for the class. To sign up, you're gonna to need to pay for the class. So that's gonna be like 142 bucks. And then also, two, you're going to have to give me your email address because that's how I'm going to re be reminding everybody that and maybe social media stuff. I don't, I don't have all those details, but basic stuff so I can get in touch with you and say, we're going to have a class. The class is still on for Tuesday night. Please show up, blah, blah, blah. So that's all I have for now. I hope you had a, an informative time. And until next time, uh, I'll be painting and I hope you're thinking about it. So thank you. Bye-bye.